What's going on everybody? Long time no video. I know it's been about a week. I apologize. I've been sick. It's just been busy and just yeah life kicked my butt for the past week. But that being said I'm here today and I want to get this out here. Um, I did post a poll in my community post last week a few days ago about um, what type of videos I'm planning on shooting and which ones you would not like to see. Uh, people gave their opinions on which ones they would not like to see and I just kind of went through that and I hate to be the bearer of bad news but my plan is to actually um, I'm going to create all those videos. Um, I just kind of wanted to give myself some expectations as far as what people were going to like and not like. But anyway, that being said, today's video is on a really cool tool that has been around for a while. Um, I've known about it for a while, being a Vim user and everything, but I just have never gotten around to using it. And I finally have put it to use, and I love it. So if we go here to my third workspace, and oops, excuse me, my second workspace, and we go to the top of the page here. Uh, you can see we are on GitHub and we are at VimWiki. Uh, VimWiki is an amazing tool. Um, I just started using it for school for taking notes. Um, I don't know the full power of it yet. You know, I, I've used it for a couple different things and man, I'm telling you what, I love it. It's a great tool, even if I do just use it for notes and to-do lists, it is just, it's an amazingly cool tool. So if you want to go to the, the GitHub webpage, um, it's Vim, it's GitHub, uh, VimWiki slash VimWiki. Um, it gives you all the information to install it uh, via um, Vim packages or via plugin manager. Um, I use Vundle, so that's the one I use to install it. Um, it gives you the basics, it gives you some screenshots. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through this real quick gives you your prerequisites you have to have set no compatible file type plugin and syntax on um, and then it gives you your basic markup of how you can write things out how you can do bold text have headers um, create wiki links um, it shows you how to do bullet lists um, so yeah um, it gives you some key bindings down here and some commands and then it shows you how to change the syntax and how to get help um, there's another page I'd recommend checking out if you're checking out VimWiki, and it's this guy's page right here. It's mkaz.blog. Um, I don't know if that's mkaz or what, but it's mkaz.blog. He's got all kinds of Vim stuff on the side here, um, but down on the bottom you can see he's got a Vim Wiki tab. Um, I've gone to his page for other things as well. Um, it's it's a good resource to know, so if you haven't checked it out before, I recommend coming and looking at it. Um, but he gives you kind of a, a little bit more in depth than on the GitHub page, um, or on the GitHub front page. You know, if you go to the GitHub Wiki, there might be more. I I haven't. Uh, I'll be honest and straightforward here and say I haven't gone to the Vim Wiki wiki yet. So, um, but it, it kind of gives you an idea how to install it and how to change your syntax, just like uh, just like uh, the other page. But it also shows you the to-do list, how to write a to-do list. Um, it shows you your uh, completion percentages and what the uh, mark is going to look like for that in your to-do list. It also shows you how to change these marks for your to-do list. It shows you you can do tables and diaries and some other things. So again, uh, the GitHub Vim Wiki page and then mkaz.blog Vim Wiki page, great resources. Um, if you've never used it, definitely go ahead and check them out. Uh, that being said, let's just jump over to my VimRC real quick so I can go over a few things. Um, to launch a new instance or to launch a new wiki, you open your Vim uh, editor and then you hit your leader key and then WW and that will open and uh, that will create a new wiki. Now my leader key is set to the space bar, so whatever yours is set to, that's going to be the case. If your leader is set to colon, then you're going to do colon WW. If your leader is set to forward slash, then you'll do forward slash WW. Backslash, backslash WW. So that being said, um, you use your leader key. you got to have syntax on. So syntax is on. You have to have set no compatible, which I have. I just have a little note here that is for VimWiki. Um, it's one of my VimWiki settings. Um, and then you have to have the file type on. I also have added here, you can have multiple wikis. Normally what's going to happen is if you create a wiki, it's all going to go into the same wiki. Everything you do is going to go into the same wiki. You're just going to keep adding to it and everything like that. You can have multiple. I have wiki 1 and wiki 2. You can have wiki 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, but if you want that and you want them in different locations, you have to come into your VimRC and you have to add let wiki underscore 1 equal open and close curly braces and then let wiki underscore 1 dot path equal and put the path to where you want the in wiki stored if you don't do this by default it's going to be in your home directory i don't like things in my home directory i already have too much there and so i put this in there to actually move things out of my home directory 
So then I have let wiki underscore two equal open and close and curly braces and then the same path in my document dot no, or documents notes. So then down here you have let g colon vim wiki underscore list equal and then in, in square brackets you have however many vim wikis you have. Vim wiki underscore one, vim wiki underscore two, or wiki underscore one, wiki underscore two, yada yada yada. And then right here, I haven't commented out right now because I'm going to kind of show them to you. I have let g colon vimwiki underscore list sims equal, and then I have this because normally this is not what your um, marks look like on your to-do list. They look a little different. So that being said, let's just go over here. We are going to open a terminal. We are going to clear the screen, and we are going to zoom in, and we're going to open Vim. Once we're in Vim, like I said, your leader key plus WW is going to open your wiki so if i do space ww it's going to open this up and you look right down here i have home documents notes index.wiki so now i'm in a new wiki now say i want to go through here and start some notes say i'm in physics class and i want to start some notes for physics class what i can do is i go into insert mode i hit equals and then do physics equals or is it uh maybe there's no spaces Physics equals, yeah, I think there is. I don't remember that. Um, and then say I want to do some notes here. So I do chapter one. And then we're going to do notes. And then I do chapter two. Notes. So now what I can do is I can escape and go back into normal mode go back up here and say I want to do go into chapter one notes. What I do is I put my cursor anywhere under the chapter one notes and what I got to do then is hit enter. And you can see now I have brackets around it and if I go away from it it's underlined and it's a different color. Well now if I go under it again and I hit enter again it opens up a new page and you can see right here I've got documents notes chapter one dot wiki. So then I can start entering, entering notes. So this is my note collection for chapter one and then we write that and then to get back we don't quit we go we write and then we hit backspace and now we're here now say I want to go in chapter two well I hit enter that creates a link and then I hit enter again and now I'm in the chapter two notes if we look down here and so I can go to insert and say this is chapter two notes we escape and write, and then we have backspace again. Now, chapter one, this is my notes collected for chapter one, backspace, chapter two, this is chapter two notes, backspace. So there, we're in this uh, section here that is now my notes for physics class. Um, now, if we want to add more to this wiki, we can go into insert mode, we'll go down a little bit, and we'll do equals, and we'll say to-do list. We'll do equals. And then from here, we want to create a to-do list, so we're going to press the um, hyphen, and then we're going to put a space there, and we're going to say, um, let's see here, item one, and then we'll do item two, and then we'll do item three. All right, so we've got all these listed out now, and we are going to write. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here, and we're going to go underneath the item, and we're going to press control space, and that gives us that box. We'll press control space, and that gives us the box. We'll press control space, and that gives us our box. Now we have our to-do list. So how do we edit our to-do list? Okay, so now I have completed uh, ten percent, or I've completed ten percent of item number one. So what do I need to do? If I hit control space, that marks it off completely. That gives me the it's fully complete. So we're going to hit control space again, and we are going to uncomment that. So say I've only got it 10% complete. What I want to do then is I want to press GL and then N, and that gives me a period. Okay, now say I'm at 40% uh, complete. Then we do GL N again, and that gives us the lowercase o. And then say I want to do it again, and we do GL N, and that gives us a capital O. And now say we finished it. We do GL N, and it is now finished. Now say we went a little too far and we haven't finished. We can do GL, GLP will take us back. GLP back again. GLP back again. And GLP back again. Now again, we can do control space. will take us all the way on. Control space will take us all the way off. 
So those are the two things I've really used it for right now is to-do lists and for my notes for class. I haven't gotten into the diary. I haven't gotten into tables, anything like that. But I just kind of wanted to show you that how cool this is. Um, so that being said, I am going to actually log out of it. We're going to write and quit. And I am going to go back into my Vim wiki or my uh, .vimrc, and we're going to uncomment this line that has the list sims and changes things to this. So let's go ahead and write that. We're going to go back to one. We're going to quit. We're going to relaunch. I don't think I had to do that, but habit. <laughs> we are going to clear the screen, and we are going to zoom in, and then we're going to open up Vim again, and we're going to do space ww, and that brings up my wiki again. And now we're going to go down to the to-do to list, and we're going to go back through the markoffs again. So if I do GLN, oops, got to go into, <laughs> no, why is it, okay, that's why, because I changed the, so if we do this, and then we do GLN, GLP, 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 okay. So it starts out as an X now. It shows I haven't done anything. If I do control space, then it marks it off completely done. Control space, that's not done at all. But now if I hit GLN, I have a partially full circle, or an open empty circle. GLN, I have a partially full circle. GLN, I have a full circle. And then I have GLN, I have it checked off as done. So you can go in and kind of change things around and how you want to have them done and um, make your things a little custom and look how you want. So that being said, um, so like I said, it's a really cool tool. I haven't used it. I've known about it for a long time. I just hadn't gotten around to using it. I didn't really think I had much of a reason to, but once I started playing with it and realizing what, how I could separate my notes and, you know, I had stuff all over my system, all different files all over the place. And this way just really helped me kind of I can open up one thing in Vim and I can have all my notes accessible to me instead of having to open it up and then search for the notes or find my notes in my file manager and open them up in Vim or whatever else. Uh, Vim Wiki has just been really cool and really helpful. So that being said, I hope this helps you out. If you have use for it, great. If not, um, I guess this was kind of a wasted uh, you know, 10 minutes or so for you. But other than that, uh, this is a really cool system. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. Um, and I hope you can get some use out of it. Now, again, I highly recommend checking out their, their webpage on GitHub, VimWiki slash VimWiki, and also that mkaz.blog for the VimWiki as well. And his stuff for other things, too, that have to do with Vim if you're a Vim user. It's, it's a really good blog. So that being said, have a great day and God bless.